So, this is the 96 count cable that we run everywhere. It is an armored cable, and doing a butt end like this is actually quite pleasant. Um, and what I'll do is I'll show you how to do that right now with very minimal amount of tools. These are really not going to be used at all. Uh, I've got the Jonard scissors that they just sent me. I, this is the, they call it electrician scissors, but uh, I call them telecommunication scissors. And razor knife, brand new, relatively sharp blade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back about 10 inches or so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a very aggressive ring cut. Okay. Kind of want to score the jacket some too. And the faster you do this, uh, typically the easier it is. So just like so. And that brought the jacket in the metal, uh, the sheath and the metal off at the same shot. Let's make sure we didn't do anything to our rip cords. Getting too much with the uh, Uh huh. And what we're going to do a little trick here. Basically, I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to take this rope. I'm going to go, or the pull string, I'm going to go in just enough for me to grab it with my finger, just like so. I'm going to go around once, twice. Now, pretty well, the harder uh, you pull, the more it tightens up on that string for you. best part about this is you can just go ahead and pull that string again right like so just pull it tight now I will have to eventually stand up we don't want our strings to break because that sucks so same hustle I'm just gonna pull our uh, Rip cord. That's what we're talking about. Now, the reason I'm stripping out so much is because this is going into a splice tray in a rack that's behind where the camera is right now. So I'll show you that uh, in a little bit. We're going to go as far as the cable will allow. Ugh. One second, I just gotta go stand up and take it to the ceiling. So, uh, Jonard Tools was nice enough to uh, allow me to be a, forget what they call it, a, I'm gonna think, a brand ambassador. Sounds fancy. And uh, I asked for these scissors because I can probably use them in 10 different ways, except cutting is the, the least important part of the tool. Um, the other exciting thing that they, uh, they sent me to try out is their cleaver, and it looks pretty awesome, not going to lie. Ooh, ooh, my lights came on finally. Nice. The lights in this place are, well, you figure the bunker has sat vacant for 20 years. The fact that the, the lights even still work is impressive, but they have old tar-based ballasts in them. They're like the T12 lamps. I'm gonna ring it right there. Yep. And then what we'll do is we'll start prepping uh, Prepping, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> prepping um, to get set up. We're going to use this Jonard cleaver that 
Uh, it's the FC500. I'm pretty excited to try it out. All right. Cool. So I want this to sit just like that in the tray. Tubes in the in the back going right there. And I'm going to flip this around a little. There we go. Shouldn't do that with your scissors, but I just did. So what are you going to do? <clears throat> so I like to put the blue on the inside track and then the, the orange on the outside. It's just my uh, uh, preference in doing these. And I haven't really figured out. I've done this like 12 different ways. Um, they don't really have a lot of information on what you're supposed to, like the actual way to do this, but I found this works pretty good. Whoop. There we go. Just like so. The felt just lets it, uh, the, the zip tie grip it, um, you know, better. Now I will take these around to about right there, and that's where I'm going to go ahead and get my final measurements. Uh, not my final, but like, basically, I know that I'm just going to need to do something like that. So, I'm just going to cut some of that access off. What we'll do is we'll get our, our blue first. Just a little ring. <clears throat> okay. What? Now we got that guy in there. There is a water block, and you just gotta really play around with it to make sure you're not getting your white because I've done it a few times. There is two water blocks in this cable, and again, just play with it for a second and make sure it's string. <clears throat> Cool. So the best way of going about this, is my opinion, is oh, just still prep our area a little bit. We're going to open up our, our pigtail kit. And I like to just leave it right in the um, package. Just like that. But because obviously this lid is a freaking annoying. Get rid of that. Cool. So we'll have our pigtails on the right. And they come in there packaged pretty aggressive. There's uh, tape. Then the, uh, the, uh, the end, end, end here has some tape too. Bugger. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just basically get out my blue. Um, and that way, if it comes, let's see if it just comes right out. Um, I'll get my blue out. That way I can go ahead and get my measurements for the rest of the game. Put my heat shrink tube on. Nah. And let's go ahead and get our blue out of here. Cool. 
So let's see what we want to do here. <clears throat> we'll probably do something right along the lines of one wrap all the way around. And what I like to do is make it very aggressive, like using as much slack as possible. And then let's go ahead and we're going to say our little holder will go something like this. All right. Um, I don't know, they don't feel... Oh, there we go. I think that's because I dropped them. <clears throat> I'll, sometimes I'll just save this and I'll lay it right here on my table. And then that way I kind of know every single one that I cut needs to be about a quarter inch longer. And we'll do... Let's get our alcohol going on. Doused it. Whoa! I just realized all the cuts that I have from the weekend. Mm. Yeah, buddy. So, I've got my brand new uh, Joan Art Cleaver here. Uh, I have this other one that I absolutely despise. Uh, I've used this one time, and then it's basically because of this, I don't know, there's so many problems with it uh, that I don't like. I broke this part off to make it better, but this one sucks. Um, this guy is my tried and true, and I do have that. And a lot of this, I think, from people's, um, uh, like, it's muscle memory is what it comes down to because I'm trying to go for like as fast as this can go. I like this one a lot. 16 bucks on Amazon. Now, Jonard sent me this guy. And according to the box, it can do 48,000 cuts. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're about to find out what this thing can do. It has a little trash can, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, I won't get, so I'll stop getting hurt. I don't know if this thing, I just have not used it at all. So I don't know if there's gonna be some calibration that needs to take place. <clears throat> but, little trash can, little hopper for me. How do you like that? I like it. I like it. Now this, I don't typically use very much, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what goes down with this thing. So I got this piece right here, trash piece. We're just gonna go ahead, we'll strip it and cleave it just to get our action, see what's going on. All right, so they want me in the, in the front one. felt good so I need to strip for the hopper to work I need to strip everything a whole lot longer so we'll just go ahead and do that right quick to see it in action I don't know why that is <clears throat> let's see here All right, nice cleave. Let's try the hopper. I, this is not, there's no way anybody's gonna be able to see this, but let's see if it works. Eh. So, it's not, oh, that was pretty gangster. It actually did, it fell right in there. It took it. So, probably not as interested in the trash can as most folks will be. It does look like I can just take that one screw up and it'll feel just like my other cleaver but let's get rocking uh, get a pigtail set just 
actually got an anomaly right there. I think I'm going to cut back to there because I don't trust what that is. <clears throat> and I'm going to shoot the OTDR on the first uh, couple here. And we'll see what the splicer says about this new cleaver. Might like it, might not. So for this one, I'll use the second notch there. Yeah. Looks all right to me. So that one just fell into the trash can for me. So that's, well, maybe I will uh, like that. Let's see what this looks like in the splicer. Beep, beep, beep. I just realized one thing that I love is the cleaver springs back. First cleave with the, or first splice with the new cleaver. Damn, look at that. That is a good looking, that was two good looking cleaves. 0, 0.00, I mean, I don't really have a whole lot of complaints there. My other cleaver, right? You cleave, it locks itself in. When I open it up, you pull it back yourself manually. So that's a muscle memory that I do. I knew something was different in, in the whole experience. <clears throat> so yeah, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, crank through this so that I can finish in a timely manner. I want measurements going. But, I don't know. Thank you, uh, thank you, Jonard. This thing is pretty badass. I'd say that that is the coolest feature. Okay. Oh, sorry. Cleave, spring back. That's cool. I wonder, if, I wonder if mine did that once upon a time, but it's just broke. All right. Heat shrink isn't as perfect balanced as I would prefer, but that's because it's so far away from me. All right. <clears throat> Little on the toasty side. So we're just going to make sure this one fits right, and then we're going to go ahead and I'll Mac kind of do the others in a much faster format. Pretty chill. Um, there's just 23 more to do. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that off, but I will probably come back and show uh, show this cleaver some metal. Cool. So after uh, 12 splices, one calibration, and then 12 splices, and I f uh, had one cleave that I had to redo. 
Um, and you can, you can see there, the trash can works pretty awesome. There's a couple that fell down in there. And that was just uh, probably just my speed in which I tried to accomplish it. Um, but overall, I kind of like the um, the trash can. Like, ultimately, the gravity just makes them fall down in there. You don't do that at all. That's just to cover it up. So, kind of like that feature, to be honest with you. And honestly, the one cleave that was bad, honestly, I think it was my fault. You know, I don't think there was anything, anything wrong here uh, at all. That's fantastic. Fantastic tool. Uh, and I do like how this is painted as if it's like the same paint as your car. Like it's like high glossed. My favorite part about this is the grip. The whole thing is like textured. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I like it. And I am pretty much gonna be using this all the time now. And that is now my backup, and that one becomes trash. Whatever the hell that thing's called. <coughs> but, uh, got 12 done. <coughs> and so, for perspective, you follow those tubes. There's my case, my splice tray. And it's a nine foot rack. And I am basically just going to be going top down. Uh, on this one because I am tall and this way nobody can accidentally even touch stuff and then down here we've got our uh, Arista uh, 70 70 50 we've got our um, tray here that's going to be for our DWDM and then we've got our OLT and we got two 10 gig uh, decks that go between them not for bandwidth it's just for uh, um, a little bit of redundancy and also it makes it easier to service too I found that when uh, with another OLT it was pretty cool I actually migrated the OLT onto a different switch and it worked pretty damn good I don't think we even dropped packets so uh, yeah yeah so thanks Jernard super cool a little bit of a uh, cleaver fun time here I completed uh, 24 splices one calibration so it's, I figure it's roughly 50 cleaves um, never once did I use that I'm probably gonna break it off because um, it kind of got in my way a little bit I'm not a fan of using that from a speed point of view I wish it would flip all the way back to there. That'd be pretty cool. I don't want to push it and break it on my first day, but um, as you see, the trash can works pretty awesome. Uh, there is a few that made it down. Uh, yeah, there's a cut. Hang on. Now I got to get the focus. Well, you're not going to be able to see that, but there is a one or two that made it down in there, which I'm not. I'm not hating on that. It's actually a cool feature. Um, because with my old one, which I still love, is don't, don't get me wrong, something about that noise, I like it. Uh, and I have replaced this blade uh, once or twice, I think, but the fibers here, they go nowhere. You know, there's one right there from the last time I used it. Also, this one, you know, from a, like a size perspective it's the exact same size uh, which is pretty interesting as the uh, as the other one I, and I and I have nothing wrong with it I like I like it um, I like this this is pretty sweet put my my little trash can up you know but I'll tell you what the worst uh, cleaver that I've ever encountered is this thing now at first glance the lever I bet you there's people that swear by that lever. Um, there was a flipper right here, which then forced you to do that. I can't, that's what my beef is. So I would just hold the fiber, flip it, clip it, bam, and be off to the races. But um, for somebody that, that wants that down, the fiber clipped in and then to cleave, this might be okay. But because I learned, uh, 
on the other one. I just don't, I don't know.